Hi, I'm Amber Lee Mason, and in this edition of the Three Minute Trading Expert, I'm going to explain picks and shovels. When a sector or commodity experiences a big boom, owning picks and shovels is a great way to make a lot of money. When I say picks and shovels, I mean the companies that supply the vital tools, products, or services participants use in a given sector or commodity. The most famous picks and shovels success story comes from the 1850s, when a German immigrant moved from New York to San Francisco to participate in the California gold rush. Rather than taking the all-or-nothing route of looking for a big gold strike, the German immigrants sold basic goods to the miners. This was a safer, surer way to acquire wealth than trying to find the one big strike. The immigrant eventually started producing a new type of durable pants to sell to the miners. They became a huge hit, and the German immigrant got rich. His name was Levi Strauss. Levi didn't risk it all on trying to find the big strike. He just sold the stuff everyone else needed to try to find the next big strike themselves. It was the surer bet. For a modern day picks and shovels winner, it's hard to find a better example than Cisco. It's one of the greatest stock market winners in history. It was so successful because it provided picks and shovels during the internet boom. Cisco makes the routers and switches, what some folks call the plumbing, required to build the internet. And from its IPO in 1992 to the 2000 bubble peak, the stock climbed more than 9,500%. Remember, during this time, thousands of companies tried to become the internet's next big thing. A handful made it, most didn't. Cisco just sold the picks and shovels to build the internet and soared. It was the sure bet. It was the sleep at night bet. Another example is Core Laboratories. Back in 2003, if you believed that crude oil was set for a big price rise, you had a handful of different vehicles to choose from. You could buy speculative futures contracts, you could buy an oil company exploring for oil in some remote jungle, or you could buy shares in Core Laboratories. Core Laboratories used specialized technology to analyze oil and gas deposits. It helped oil companies decide where to drill in order to find big deposits, and help them manage those deposits once they were found. Core did no drilling or exploration of its own. It was paid by lots of different market participants who were doing lots of drilling and exploration. As oil prices climbed from $30 a barrel in 2003 to $100 a barrel in 2008, Core's customers had more money to spend on exploration. Core's revenues surged and the stock went from $5 per share to $60 per share, a gain of 1,100%. It was a pure picks and shovels play on the oil boom. Rather than take on the risk of owning shares in a company looking for oil in just a handful of places, Core Laboratories investors could sleep soundly. They knew the company was collecting a steady stream of money from a number of oil companies. There's a variety of other picks and shovel stocks. For example, when crop prices surge, investors can pass on speculating in corn and soybeans and just buy shares of fertilizer producers that benefit when farmers make more money. Or instead of buying a speculative biotech firm looking for the next miracle cure, an investor can buy shares in the companies that perform tests for hundreds of biotech firms. The big thing to keep in mind with this idea is that when a sector booms, that sector's picks and shovels plays boom along with it. And when the sector busts, the picks and shovels plays bust as well. So you'll always want to monitor what's going on with the big picture. But when the big picture is favorable for a sector or commodity, Remember picks and shovels. They're a great way to make a diversified bet and potentially make huge returns. I'm Amberly Mason. Thanks for watching and good trading. If you want to learn another incredibly powerful trading secret, click here to watch the next video.